Uh, everyone, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm from uh, I'm from Taiwan, and I'm now teaching in China. And uh, uh, my background is in architecture. And uh, uh, recently, I'm working in two fields. It's about uh, architecture theory, and the other is uh, uh, spatial digitalization. Este, el doctor es eh, taiwanés, pero ahora reside en China y es arquitecto de profesión y ahora está más enfocado en la teoría de la arquitectura. Entonces, eh, vamos a empezar con su presentación. Uh, thank you. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry I cannot speak in uh, Spanish, but uh, I can speak poco in italiano because uh, I, I stay in it. Italy for uh, quite a long years, yeah, and yeah. So uh, if if uh, if you have some problem that perhaps you can express uh, in uh, Italian, maybe, yeah. So uh, my topic is about secular monument. Secular mon monument it is kind of monument, but it's not it's not about the divine. It's, it's about the personal con it's about the personal conduct that thank you thank you it's about the personal conduct who which which lead into divinity and that's the purpose perhaps for human life, and because that's a trick Chinese garden is using. So I'm, I, I would like to introduce to you. Um, uh, first of all, first of all, I want, I want to show you with an, uh, a video that you can know what, what I'm talking about. It's a, um, it's the Chinese garden located in my school, and it's a quite small Chinese garden, and during your trip, you can see nothing, because otherwise, from the tree and stone, there's no real object. And the real object means uh, with the meaning for uh, the construction, that there is none, almost none, especially when you go to the real Chinese garden. This is the modern one. so. My point is the the, Chan, uh, the Western idea of the uh, derived from Hegel is about historical becoming. It's a linear idea that is not applied in China or in ancient China. I'm sorry, I, uh, my background is about the historical Chinese architecture of historical uh, urbanism. It's not about the modernism. Okay, the idea comes comes out is only one keyword. It says no, it is not. It does not to give you any affirmation for something is solid real. Okay, this one. Oh, thank you. Do you want to explain? Este, bueno, aquí el doctor nos trae su presentación sobre eh, la arquitectura desde el sentido como eh, ontológico y también de cómo la divinidad ha interferido en la, en la arquitectura humana. ¿no? Entonces, el video que nos puso anteriormente fue de un jardín que hay en China y lo que nos dice es que eh, a lo mejor para nosotros, si vamos como turistas, no podemos percibir percibir ni conocer la historia de lo que significa el jardín, ¿no? Entonces, él nos habla de también cómo, este, de alguna manera, también depende del, del, eh, de la proveniencia de la persona, es como vamos a entender a los, a los edificios, ¿no? Entonces, este, pues por ejemplo, para la gente que es de China y que conoce el, el antecedente de estos edificios, pues entienden el significado, ¿no? Pero... Eh, Ajá. Y eh, bueno, también nos dice que nos pone este ejemplo porque también él está más enfocado y o sea, su enfoque es más desde la desde el que está enfocado más hacia la arquitectura china tradicional, digamos, ¿no? 
Entonces, tan solo lo del video fue un ejemplo de cómo para algunos puede significar algo y de cómo para algunos otros no. Ok, thank you. Uh, because I have so many things, I, I, I want to keep it short and I, I want to keep it, uh, keep it, uh, keep it quick. And uh, uh, so I just give you some point at, as long as I can deliver. Uh, that is uh, an old idea. It's about uh, a formation about unknown abilities. It's, it's kind of light reference. It, it's not about, about something you know it as a knowledge. No, it's only about a formation to unknown ability. And because uh, when when we see in the, I'm sorry, I have some something about Christianity background, so uh, I will quote quite a lot from the scripture. That uh, as as long as you can see in the Old Testament, that you can see the commandment it says only no, you shall not do anything. There is only no to be affirmative, and. Uh, and no one can see anything, no one can be sure anything, but as long as you can find Paul, Apostle Paul. And when he went over to Athens, and, and he, he gave an affirmation that says, uh, the one to be something is not far, that you can fail. It can be failed and it can be found. The, there is a, a modern turn for me and to, to reject a nobility. And it goes into the Western idea of our uh, knowledge, our modern knowledge. But uh, for me, for me, it's quite weird uh, because in, uh, during 2013, I, I teach, I, I taught, I taught in the top university in China is called Nanjing University. And uh, uh, one day, my student went over to me and uh, he, he gets very happy and says, oh, the, uh, city, uh, the city ruin is, is going to be demolished. And uh, he's going to, to, to build his idea about re, uh, rehabilitation in the idea and he brought me into, into the site. And it, it, it really shocked for me because when I went over to the region and everything is so perfect, perfect as every major for, uh, for the course for conservation. I think every one of you would somewhat agree with me. But the students were so happy because the place is going to be uh, demolished just due to the regulation imposed for the Chinese government. And, and that's the beginning of my research for this topic. También nos habla sobre su experiencia, este, bueno, también basa su presentación en un, alguna ocasión en la que uno de sus alumnos le habló sobre un caso en la ciudad de Nanjing, que es donde está su universidad, y este, y entonces pues también a donde, bueno, él se sorprendió porque vio que iban a demoler eh, un conjunto de casas o una parte de una de la ciudad. Este, por una, regula una regulación que impuso el gobierno chino en 2014. Y el, bueno, lo curioso, lo interesante aquí es que estas, estos edificios, estas casas, tienen como grabados y también como pinturas que son, que tienen como, que son de carácter religioso, digamos, ¿no? Entonces aquí es también donde, este, donde entra, digamos, la parte en la que él está interesado. Y en las diapositivas anteriores nos habla de que en el Antiguo Testamento pues no había... No había afirmaciones, todo era una negación hasta que llegó el apóstol Pablo y entonces dijo, vamos a hacer esto. Y esto es importante porque también eh, lo estamos viendo desde un punto de vista este, teórico y filosófico, pero bueno, ahorita vamos a ahondar un poquito más en el tema. Sí, como pueden ver, para un arquitecto, cada arquitecto, alguien would concordar conmigo, el lugar es tan formal y tan rígido, es... Uh, during it is in a good popular um, 
proportion for doing some design, but this, this is one of the sites is going to be uh, demolished. So uh, when, I, when, I, uh, when I want to explain about, about the idea, why should it be conserved? Why should a place to be preserved? I cannot find anything because there's no public narrative. There's no public story to be talked. And everything is individual conduct. And during the individual conduct, that should be demolished. It's because it cannot produce something about collective memories. It's only for individual stories and their, their uh, joy to find, joy finding and, and, and th there, therefore the construction is built. Until I can find, until I can find a, a theory is about uh, negative theology. And it says, there is nothing you can express only by its negation. So when it comes to me, it, it seems like when Paul was, was delivered, his point, he says, it is not far from you. It is not far from you, but it is not this one. It's something further, but you can fail. It can be found by your body insure, assurance. And that comes, in, uh, comes to me, can I apply this kind of theory to its brain? Why we are doing conservation? Bueno, aquí también la cuestión eh, es por qué debe ser conservado un edificio o por qué en su defecto pues tiene que ser demolido, ¿no? Entonces, aquí de, después de su proceso de, de reflexión teológica, a partir de lo que no habíamos mencionado anteriormente, es porque tiene o no, o puede generar memoria. Entonces, si no tiene un significado, entonces no debe de ser conservado un, un edificio. Pero si tiene memoria, entonces sí nos preocupamos por conservarlo, ¿no? Y por tratarlo, porque tiene una historia que contar, pero al no tenerla, entonces tiene que ser demolido. Pero, este, pues, él, o sea, también se pregunta como que cuáles son las pautas que dicen que tiene memoria, o sea, qué edificios tienen memoria y qué edificios no tienen memoria, ¿no? Uh, I think human is built for the purpose to find joy by themselves. So, so many uh, external explanations just to persuade the others, but only the person who gets benefit is by himself. And so, so that's, also, uh, that's also the course. We collect everything for a watch, for a photo, for something you, you consider will be treasure. That's for yourself. And that's not to persuade others for your conservation conduct. And I can see there's another quotation from the Greek story. It's a fable story. It's, it says someone sees, see himself in the water with a fraction, and 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 later on uh, he he got obsession with the water refraction than himself. And there's a, a, a lady who is under the curse who cannot say anything from his or her inside, but only to repeat from the others. From this story, this story that derived from the first centuries, about the time, about, about the time when Paul sees the stone, the altar. And on the one side, it seems like a vanity when you see by the motive. On the other side, when you read, the story, you can find the joy, you can find the fantasies in the structures. So that's the both side, it comes out an open end. It's not a, a formation to, to deem on the story. No, it allows some interpretation by yourself. And that's the course as people wandering in the Chinese garden. Bueno, entonces aquí entra la parte de la posibilidad ontológica de las imágenes, ¿no? O sea, de que cómo nosotros como humanos podemos sentir o generar una reflexión o una, 
o memoria o demás a través de las imágenes, ¿no? Entonces, por eso nos puso también el ejemplo de este texto del rey Salomón este octavo, me parece. Entonces, nos dice que este texto, o sea, tiene la capacidad de generar, o sea, ontológica, de generarnos algún tipo de, de, de sentimiento o de generar una memoria y demás. Entonces, es lo que podría suceder con las imágenes que están en los edificios, ¿no? O sea, de, de cómo podemos nosotros sentir algo por los edificios, o bueno, por, que es más o menos el enfoque hacia lo que, hacia lo que vamos, ¿no? Um, I think many of you are in a special planning or architect background, uh, maybe familiar with, uh, with La Copicea. And in the later days, in the later phase of uh, Le Corbusier's work, he, he find that the only attraction, the only attraction for him is not architecture or planning, it's about how to live, it's about habitation. And, and in, 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 a, in a book, uh, when Cathedral Still White, and it, It says habitation is light. And when people are, are saying the reverence for light, what is kind of light? And for Le, uh, Le Corbusier is habitation. And for the Chinese garden, it's about habitation. It's not about residential, it's about habitation. So it's kind of oriental idea that I want to deliver because it's like an ancient times when the scripture, scripture says, you should not, it is not. And it is not the only affirmation for life itself. And I want to deliver another idea It's about the otherness of histopias. Uh, his That's kind of a uh, Greek idea, it, it says something between the real and between the utopia, you can see something others. And the, the kind of others that is a kind of institution. What is the kind of institution? Institution may be, it is made of people. It's not made of the person, individual. It's made of a group of people, a collectivities. And why is collectivity so important? Because when people are reading the, uh, are, are seeing the photo, oh no, it's not the photo, it's the picture. I seen the picture, they can Im, Im, um, image about the, uh, the person called the one or, or the God of the divinity. And the other one is about the, the human himself. But certain people talk about something in between, in between the connection. In between the vista, their, their visual eye, their visual sight, and their finger, which is not touched, but still has wondering if touched or not. There's something in between humans. And that's the real human life, because, because we are wandering from one end to the other. And that's called intermediate action. It's a, it's kind of human life's metaphor. And the purpose, the purpose the garden is building is all, the, all for the purpose to build some intermediate. And intermediate space is the whole sense for the Chinese garden. And it's all, also the idea for the ancient history. So as, as you can see in the picture, it's a uh, classic Chinese garden. The monument is not like a human figure. It's like nothing. There's no name you can name it. There's no resembling to something. But it says something behind. It says something behind this object. You can see from one angle to the other. It gives you some idea that allows you to give its interpretations. And you can share with others. 
And that's the joy, that's the leisure for the Chinese guys, the ancient Chinese guy wandering in the gardens. There's the reason I say it's an ethical transcendence from you wandering. It's not in this world, it's about the other world. Bueno, este, eh, ya, bueno, ya que hablé de la posibilidad ontológica de las imágenes, eh, también eh, nos, nos presenta lo que nos decía Corbusier, que eh, nos habla de cómo vivir en un lugar, ¿no? O sea, de que la, la habitación, o sea, el, el acto de habitar es vivir, ¿no? Entonces dice que eso también está muy relacionado a la a la cosmovisión oriental y no tan occidental, porque pues a lo mejor eso para nosotros que somos occidentales es un poco diferente comprenderlo, ¿no? Eh, después nos habla de, de las conclusiones a las que llegó Foucault después de un tiempo de, de investigación e, y de, también de la importancia de la perspectiva en las imágenes y en lo ontológico, o sea, de de la limitación de una imagen, por ejemplo, de que un país, no es lo mismo ver el paisaje que ver la pintura de un paisaje, porque entonces está enmarcada ¿no? y está limitada. Entonces, que también es algo que puede interferir en, en, la, en el aspecto ontológico y que también de ahí, este, pues la interpretación de las imágenes siempre va a estar sujeta a la, a la, a la cosmovisión, a la propia perspectiva de, del individuo, ¿no? Entonces, este, es por eso que nos pone, bueno, la imagen anterior que nos estaba hablando de un monumento era de un monumento que precisamente no tiene nombre, o sea, y, y la diapositiva decía la divinidad sin nombre, ¿no? O sea, porque está sujeta a la interpretación de cada quien y no se da contexto, pero, o sea, se sabe que es algo divino o que es que trasciende, que es algo más allá, pero no tenemos contexto. Entonces, siempre va a estar sujeto, como en, el, en lo oriental, va a estar un poco más sujeto a la interpretación individual. Y bueno, okay. ese es como el resumen. Uh, thank you. And during these thousand years, people are building so many institutions, like a police, like a republic, like some uh, kingdom. It's all for the purpose to have a good life. But the good life as Arendt, Hannah Arendt suggests it's kind of life. Human keeps his individualities and also to live among human beings. And it is quite weird, the Chinese garden building, there is an uh, instruction, it says habitation without residential concerns. And it seems like it allows you to build up your imagination, also allows you allows you to have some, some habitation possibilities. And, and it is similar to the purpose we are building our nation state or, or building some institutions. So the Chinese garden, it, it says only one word. It allows you to build up a constitution Uh, it, it allows you to build up an, an institution which says it is not. Um, I, I need to be quick, uh, maybe five minutes. <laughs> um, for the Chinese guys, you can see in the pictures, just due to the frame, frame in the frame, that gives you some possibility to image, to image something behind. That's the purpose that the frame is built. And the frame is built also constructually. It built in the garden. Because the trick, the Chinese, Chinese garden of, of any architect are playing with the trick. It's in, in between time and in between space. We, we have something with, uh, with very slow path and to, to make it as a monument. But we sometimes do make it very quick. As uh, we are walking, we are, we, we, are doing, uh, we are building our highway. That's the architect's trick. But that kind of trick, they can be developed in our modern days. So uh, I have some experiment. As long as you have some, um, you can condense your image. And you can see what is kind of the lasting image, what is the just grapes. 
And so, uh, it's just like a stone. When it display in Chinese garden, you can see from every angle. Just, just depend on the, the path, the speed. As long as you can see from one angle to the other, you can find the transactions. And that's also an idea, an ontology. It's kind of uh, idea that that is not, not depending on the world. It's depending on your body touch. And that's kind of intermezzo as your, your life. Your life as a, a kind of being in the time. As a philosopher says, it's in, in between forego and in between the forgiveness. And, but there's one point, because as long as you wander in the Chinese garden, you are not building up an internal circle. There is an open end from one way to the other. That's the purpose for your trip. We are not doing any, uh, any kind of, uh, how to say that, uh, nominal nominal turns. We are, we are experiencing the real subject. And the real subject from one topic to the other. That's the, as, uh, just like our life wandering, is from one topic to the other. And it's kind of metaphor. And the kind of metaphor, as long as you can build up some interpretations and you can, you can share with others. And that's the purpose of life. Can it be? And uh, such like this image that people don't need to focus on one point, but they can build up their own image. And the kind of image is the purpose for the ancient guys, ancient sages, they will collect and share with others as inheritance for the site. So there is not a, a, a reference on this earthy world. It's a reference to something other, as we can say something about logos. And Kopusie, when he wandered, when he was, was planning his city, the Indian city in Chandika, and he developed an idea. It's not about a real city planning. It's the metaphor, an open hand metaphor. That's the, the point he wants to deliver. And it seems like oriental idea. It seems like our plan with our, our working with our, uh, our device, uh, handset device, electronic device, we are building our own world. And it's a reproduction from this world. And we find joy. And there's another technique, it's about digitalization, uh, accumulation for the Vista. Uh, that is another section, but I cannot uh, address here. It's kind of, it's kind of ancient tricks that uh, as long as you're wandering in the Chinese garden, because it is not a fixed Vista to be delivered. It is the flexible is flexible as long as you can see from one way to the other. There's an orientation, but the orientation is unknown. So it's a rhetoric, a space rhetoric. It's until the metaphor comes become a sense, to give a sense, to give an, an interpretation, and which is given to share with the others. And that's the sense of being in the time. And that's my next section about digitalization. But when you see here, you can see, uh, as you can stand at every point, and every point can give you some interpretations, just ontological, it's not, by worthy interpretations, no. You can uh, collect it, your own image. You can, you can name it by yourself. And every kind of trip is kind of, 
is kind of open end. And during the open end, it, the space will last. And that's the purpose. It's not due to something, a real, real object. No, it's due to the structure. And the structure even is renewed, but the structure given its sense about the real space, about the, our, our life wandered in any kind of city, and even it's in specific for the Oriental. There's an orientation going high. My finished. Thank you.